Hi, I'm Jared Wojtovich, an automation engineer here with Minuteman Employer Automation Systems. In today's video, we're going to be doing a basic overview of the Zebra Aurora Focus software. Now, this software will be used for any of the VS FS series cameras that is offered by Zebra Technologies. So here I have a Zebra VS40 and a basic shipping label that I'm going to be doing some inspection on. So we'll dive right into the software and show you how to set up a job and just do a basic overview of the software itself. So when you open up the Zebra Aurora Focus software, you'll have essentially this initial dashboard. We want to go to view devices and you can see here the camera that I have connected. So the IP address of this camera is essentially communicating over DHCP. So if we want to change that and really establish a static IP address, we're going to do a couple different things. So we're going to go to manage and diving into this screen, we have a couple different options here. We can go to the general settings where we want the system to uh, beep if a job is successful, um, toggle some hardware buttons, and then really adjust the 360, 360 degree LEDs that are built into this camera. I can go to my communication settings. So this is where we go in, change our IP address if we were communicating over Ethernet IP, uh, TCP IP, RS-232, really all the different communication protocols that are available on this device. Additionally, we can set up some GPIO mapping. So if a job is successful or it fails, we can establish that through the 12 pin connector to fire IO based off of certain conditions. So to go in and set up a job, we're going to either do one of two things. In the top right here, we have a new job button or in the bottom left, we can go to our jobs. I'm going to go ahead and delete this active job so that we can start from the beginning. So click your startup and we want to delete and that is okay. So we're going to create a new job and for the purpose of this video, I'll call it machine vision demo. You can add in a little bit of a description to help you understand what the job is for the next person that's going to be programming it. So we're going to create the job. And at the bottom, there is an initial film strip that the system is going to work off of. Now, what we want to do is really tune in the different settings on the camera to get the best image possible for our setup. So one thing that we can do, if we know we have barcodes on our label here, what we can do is click this barcode auto-tune. What it's going to do is go through and automatically adjust the different settings of the camera to get the optimal image for us. <clears throat> so you can see here, the system is going through and adjusting some settings. And as long as we get this successfully ran barcode auto-tune message, we know we can proceed. So I know that when I'm running this job, uh, because I'm going to be testing it on my laptop, I want to have a test trigger on my screen. I'm going to go in and select the image source is a test trigger, but if you were going to connect this to a PLC or an external device, you would go in and select the external method that you want to trigger your device. So the system kind of works off of a flowchart based programming, um, you know, left to right. So at the top here, we have capture, build and connect. Once we've captured an image and we're happy with the quality to actually build our project off of, we can go to the build tab. And this is where we're going to go in and actually create our job. Now, depending on the tool sets that you purchased with your camera, you'll have limited access to some of the different functions and features. Obviously, we do have a full license on here. So we have the advanced package. We have access to all the different tool sets. However, depending on which tool package you purchase, you'll have access to the associated tools as shown on the screen here. So one thing that we're going to want to do, I'll expand these just so you can see all of the different tool sets that we do have available down here. One thing I'm going to do just to show off the machine vision capabilities of this camera, I'm going to use a locate object tool. So I just click and drag that tool from my tool set into my flowchart. So again, this project will work sequentially. So from top to bottom and essentially execute each of these tools as we work down through. So the first thing I want to do is locate an object. So for the sake of this demo, I'm going to locate this little 
rectangle here that has a one inside of it and click capture model. You can come in and adjust your acceptance thresholds and your candidate thresholds to make sure that you really hone in or locating the correct uh, object here. So off of that, I'm going to essentially, I'll locate an edge and I'm going to click and drag locate edge into my flowchart. And what I want to do is maybe locate this top edge here. And what I can do is actually change the direction in which it's scanning. So I want to go top to bottom and you can see it does locate that edge. I'll span this the entirety of the remainder of that bar there. And I can really leverage where I located that initial first object by utilizing this fixture drop down menu. So I want to essentially fixture where I locate this initial edge based off of where I locate that initial object. So after I select that, I'm going to do the same thing. However, I'm going to repeat the process and locate this bottom edge here and fixture off of my locate object one. And now I'm going to reverse the direction essentially go from bottom to top. Again, getting the tool to span across there. Make sure my fixture is set, which it is. And then I can actually utilize the measure tool or distance tool. And when I drag and drop this in, what it's going to want me to do is essentially state where I want to start the measurement and where I want to stop the measurement. So what I'm going to do is select my locate edge one and locate edge two. And I actually want to measure the distance from the different tips of the lines themselves. If you know the distance in terms of pixels, you can actually set that up. However, because we don't, we're going to use an auto range feature. If you do know the distance between the lines themselves, you can actually use scale units. So for example, if I know that, let's say 10 millimeters relates to 100 pixels, I can set that up. So then when the data gets sent over, it's actually converted into millimeters instead of it being a pixel value. So I can click click scale units and I'll just leave this as is for now and I'll click apply. So now whenever it sends over that measurement, it will be in millimeters. Once we're done setting up our job, we can actually come in to our connect tab and this is where you would set up your communication with whatever device you're trying to communicate with. So if we're using industrial ethernet and we want to send the result data over, we have the ability to send over specific details about each of the different tools that we have created in our job or the overall job itself. So let's say I wanted to send over the distance that that line measures over to my external device. I click the calibrated distance and it will send over the data to that device. You can either have it in raw data or converted data. So because I do not have a device currently connected, I'm going to get rid of this. And then we can actually go ahead and deploy the project and make sure that it works properly. So by clicking this deploy project here, you can see I have this screen. I have my test trigger that I initially set up basically saying, I wanna use this button here to capture my image. So if I rotate the label here, you should be able to see that the system is able to locate the object, locate both lines and take a measurement off of that. Again, triggering through it. Again, we set up before the beep on successful job. So that's a basic overview of the Zebra Aurora Focus software. Be sure to subscribe and click the link in the description down below for more Zebra related content, as well as other technologies that Minuteman Employer Automation Systems supports. Thank you.